Yeah, Ty, we've talked about this a couple of times, but another 20 and 10 night for you, just with guys hopefully coming back after this three day break, how important is it that this carries over and sort of who you become this type of player? Yeah, just carry over the good, um, get rid of the bad. Uh, thought it was pretty bad. Uh, it, was, it was a pretty bad night. So, got yeah, my turnovers got to come down, and um, but just you know, stay looking for my shot. Um, but yeah, look, definitely looking forward to getting guys back. Where did you uh, see some of, how some of those turnovers uh, kind of come from? Some of those ones, especially when it seemed like it just went out of your hands. Yeah, um, I mean, obviously, the, I mean, kudos to them. They did a good job. Uh, they got a lot of guys who got good hands, Bled, you know, Batum, PG, all known, and T-Man, all all known defensively. You know, Keon Johnson's a, a great defender as a rookie. Um, but to tell you the truth, it was a lot of just me doing dumb, dumb shit. Uh, oh, damn, I didn't mean to cuss, my bad. Just <laughs> dumb stuff. My dad's going to watch this be mad. But uh, dumb, dumb stuff. I just throwing the ball to the other team. I was bad. I got you. And then just – I think we've talked about it before, but just when, especially for when you guys are so shorthanded, when Buddy struggles to shoot the way he does and you guys are trying to get him involved, how much more challenging does that make it for you guys? Yeah, I mean, it's challenging when, whenever anybody's not making shots. I don't know the stat, but we definitely, sh our win percentage is down when we don't shoot the ball at a certain clip, you know what I'm saying? So, um, you know, I, you know, we talk about us defensively all the time and I always have so much say defensively. It's like impossible to win an NBA game scoring eight, nine points. So, um that's not us, man. We just, and that's on me as a as a point guard, as a leader. I gotta do better at getting guys involved, you know, getting guys in the right spots, and 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 making shots myself. Uh, but um, you know, just just on to the next game, you know. Hey Tyrese, you mentioned uh, defense, and I wanted to talk a little about interior defense. You guys have had some struggles throughout the season. What do you guys need to do to get better on interior defense? Rebound. A lot of it is just uh, offensive putbacks, and then those are points in the paint and offensive rebounds. So makes us look terrible in stats and things like that. Um, but honestly, like, they're getting in the paint, they're missing shots and just, you know, putting it back in. Um, you know, that, that's, that's the biggest thing is just second chance points and points in the paint are definitely killing us right now. Hey, Tyrese, you guys have had a stretch here of playing some really good defenses with a depleted roster. Um, I know the outcome hasn't always been what you guys have wanted, but do you still feel like there's a lot of positives that you're able to take away from this stretch? As a team? Yeah, on the offensive end specifically. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's def there definitely is. I thought we got a lot of good looks tonight. You know, uh, we just we just missed shots. I mean, I don't know. We shoot from three. Thirty-one percent, like, and I and it it felt a lot worse than that. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, uh, you know, I thought we got I thought we got some good looks. You know, some bad turnovers tonight. Like, live ball turnovers have killed us in the last four games. Um, and you know that that's that starts with myself and, and goes down the line. But um, I think there's definitely a lot to, to take away and a lot to learn from in these last couple of games. Uh, Ty, uh, Serge Ibaka, uh, five points in the first half, no points in the third quarter, twelve points in the fourth quarter. He pretty much uh, you know handled you guys. Uh, and as this gentleman just said, you know that was part of his interior work. Uh, what do you attribute to him getting those baskets? How how was he getting those baskets like that? Well, uh, putbacks. I, I mean, I didn't feel like he was killing us one on one or anything. Just it felt like, uh, you know, scrambles and stuff. And you know, he's, you know, he's just, you know, make, you know, put back layups, uh, getting clean rolls. Um, had that dunk at the end of the game. Like, I, you know, I didn't feel like it was necessarily a lot of like one on one stuff. Just you know, kind of doing the dirty work. Ty, uh, again, we're not sure if this is the last game you're going to have this group of players or this group of coaches. But what is what have you seen from Doug? in the last five games while you guys are depleted and and he's having to step in into a, a new role? Yeah, man, he's just the same guy he always has been since I've met him. Um, just passionate about about us and, and wants to see us succeed. And he's on us, you know, to, to, to do better defensively. And he's, you know, from the, the moment he got the starting job, he just we sat down and he just pointed out how aggressive he wanted me to be and, 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 and what he needed out of me. And, um, you know, I just tried to answer the bell as be the best I could. and. Um, you know, you know, love having Doug. Glad he's, you know, he's, he ain't going nowhere. <laughs> he just he ain't standing up as much. You ain't gonna hear him on on through the TV or at the game a little bit uh, less. But um, he's he's still there. Trust me. And, and uh, his presence is definitely felt. Uh, Tyrese, you guys started out one for nine in the first quarter, one for seven in the second quarter. How, how do you explain just coming out flat like that and not being able to execute your guys' shots? 
Or he just played bad, man. I, I, I think that's what it is. We just miss shots. I mean, it's a make or miss league. And, um, you know, we, we I thought we got some, some decent looks, but, um, you know, we just couldn't put the ball in the basket, especially early. And, uh, you know, we started to, but, um, you know, it's, it's hard in, in, in against any NBA team if you, if, you, if you can't make shots. Ty, you guys got Rich back for the first time in a couple of weeks and, and some other new faces, too. Um, number one, did it feel like it took a little while to kind of develop a little bit of a rhythm? And then also, you know, just generally speaking, how, how good is it to have Rich back out there with you? No, I wouldn't say it took a while. I, I mean, if you're watching a game, like, they did a very good job of taking that away. Um, you know, they blitzed me. Uh, a lot, especially early, you know, they were getting the ball out of my hands to where I was having to make the quick read, and I had a couple stupid turnovers early. Um, and then, and then when I was when I was hitting Rich, it, they were kind of you know playing cat and mouse and, and making him have to make you know certain reads where you know usually teams playing a, a deep drop or um, you know they they switch it up. And, and I thought they did a did a good job of of, of coming out aggressive and, and kind of you know changing it up a little bit. Um, you know, but it's something we'll look at and just figure it out. Just like last year, we had to figure out um, the best way to attack a deep drop. And this year, this, you know, right now, that, that blitz gave us a little bit of problems today. But it won't as the season goes on, I promise you that. Um, and, and, and uh, you know, it's, it's great to have Rich back. You know, y'all know that's my guy. And uh, we have a great connection and, uh, you know, a great partnership between us. So uh, great to see him back. And, um, you know, just keep building. All right, two more on zone. Uh, Matt George, go ahead. Hey, Ty, kind of building off of the uh, the slow start question recently, do you notice uh, with how shorthanded the, the group is right now that teams are, are trying to take advantage of, of that and jump on that early, or is it just simply just a, a rough start, bad shooting, and, and turnovers? Nah, rough start, bad shooting, turnovers. I mean, they depleted too, so, you know, it's the same same both ways.